What is going down everyone, it's Insomnus here again, back with another video, and this time I've got something a little bit different, it's a silent scorpion, a single scorpion moab, on a 6v6 TDM, a regular TDM, a normal TDM, a core TDM, whatever you want to call it, and basically I've been going for this uh, scorpion mob for about 3 hours uh, before I actually got it, and getting a couple 20 plus gun streaks and stuff like that till I managed to get it, and surprisingly I actually managed to get it on outpost, this is probably my least favourite map just because of the you know the sheer scale of it and it just feels like overall more campy to me than all the other maps and therefore we pretty much vote it off every single time it comes up in the list and I've only actually played this map like 15 to 20 times so um, luckily enough I managed to get the, mob on, the Scorpion mob on this map um, and I, I did actually do a bit of research before um, I, after I got this and seen like you know how many had been uploaded before and from what I could see, uh, most of the ones that have been uploaded have been primarily on Hardcore. And I've had a fair few in Hardcore as well. But, you know, I wanted to get it in Core because I don't really play Hardcore too often. And it's not exactly my area of expertise. Um, but the, one that the, the only one that I did find that was on Core was um, uploaded about three months ago. I could only find one other than this one. And that one was the pre-patch one before they added that minus 38 rate of fire reduction to all them machine pistols. So basically, now the machine pistols just completely suck ass. The only ones you're going to have any luck with are going to be the FMG Akimbo's, which are highly frowned upon, as you guys already know. Or the MP9 with extended mag or silencer, or something like that. So I definitely don't recommend running the Scorpion. You're better off with the MP9, unless you are, you know, just trying to have fun and try to get a nice gameplay or whatever with a, a weird weapon. So yeah, it's one of the first uh, core silent scorp I mean scorpion mobs on YouTube. But that's uh, pretty much all I want to talk about with the gameplay. What I did want to talk about in this video is uh, kind of actually um, kind of answer a question that's been getting asked quite frequently, surprisingly, in some of my recent videos. And in my last video, this question got asked about ten times, I believe, by all individual users. And the question is basically, um, why do I use sense sensitivity? Um, what is the best sensitivity to use and um, how can pe how can people improve if uh, what sensitivity should people I choose if they want to improve at the game and there's one simple answer to this basically it's all it all depends on personal preference um, you're gonna play best with whatever you feel most comfortable with for example when I started uh, playing Call of Duty back in World at War halfway through World at War um, it put you on that you know two to three whatever it was sensitivity you know the default one and I just played like a game not even a game probably half a match on that sensitivity and I was like fuck this I feel too slow and sluggish so I had to switch it up straight away I just put it on maximum sensitivity just because I don't really like to feel constricted in my movements as you see you know most of my gameplays I'm rushing about a bit and doing a lot of twitch movements because uh, when, the reason I chose tense sensitivity is because I don't want to feel restricted. I want to be able to move as fast as I want, whenever I want, and as slow as I want, whenever I want. And with when you're using the lower sensitivities, you can't really move as fast as you want because you are limited to a certain speed, but you can move as slow as you want. And you do get, well, I'll admit that you do get a pretty good, a better accuracy at longer ranges until you get used to tense sensitivity or higher sensitivities. Then you can kind of master it at long ranges as well. And I'm pretty much used to that. But it's all about what you guys, you know, prefer to use. Like, there's a lot of big guys, big YouTubers, um, you know, big competitive players that play on 1 to 3 sensitivities. And, like, lo load of guys that play on 10 sensitivities. I know you guys might normally, uh, you know, link up the people who play 10 sensitivity. You'll kind of, like, identify that as someone who does, like, a lot of sniping and trick shotting and stuff like that. And that's not the only thing it's good for. It's, it's also good for, you know, locking on targets fast, getting them which movements, turning around when people are next to you or behind you and stuff like that. And I get the mob right there, it's about 3 minutes 50 seconds or so, I'm not, sorry it's a, sorry if it's a bit off, I haven't watched this back, but that's just a, a little guesstimate. So yeah, just basically when you're choosing a sensitivity, I hope it kind of puts it to rest all these questions, but if you're choosing a sensitivity, just try each sensitivity for like a day or summer each until you find the one that works best for you. And that's pretty much the end of the gameplay, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like for me. Um, if you've got any other questions you want me to answer in future videos, make sure you drop it in the comments as well. Maybe you've got any, uh, you know, weird setups that you want me to use. Maybe like a thermal, PM9, rapid fire, I don't know, something like that. Just make sure you tell me in the comment section. I do read all the comments, so I'll get round to them eventually and try and get more of them uploaded. So basically, that's pretty much the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.